Hi friends, today we will discuss about what is regular expression, what constitutes a regular expression and we will write some regular expressions. Till now we have discussed about finite state machine which recognizes or accepts the regular language. We discussed or focused on the power of a computing device. But now our goal is to match finite or repeated patterns. Pattern matching using finite state machine has its own applications. To name a few, lexical analysis in compiling a program, filtering emails or spam, sorting email, searching a complex directory structure by specifying patterns, by writing regular expressions which generates the regular language. So what is a regular expression? A regular expression is a method to describe a regular language which is different from that of an FSM, which consists of two kinds of symbols, special symbols and alphabet. A set of special symbols to which we will attach meanings when, we, when they occur in a regular expression. They are null, epsilon, union, opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis, star and plus. Alphabet or summation is from which strings in the language are made. So what is a regular expression? The regular expressions over alphabet summation are all and only the strings that can be obtained according to the following rules. So first rule, null is a regular expression. Epsilon is a regular expression. Every element of summation or alphabet is a regular expression. If alpha and beta are regular expressions, then alpha dot beta is also a regular expression. If alpha and beta are regular expressions, then alpha union beta is also regular. If alpha is a regular, then alpha raised to star is also regular. If alpha is regular expression, then alpha raised to plus is also regular expression. And at last, if alpha is a regular expression, then alpha in parenthesis is also a regular expression. If summation is AB, then following strings are the regular expressions. Null is a regular expression. Epsilon is a regular expression. A is a regular expression. A is a regular expression, B is a regular expression, regular expression, union regular expression is regular, uh, expression, regular expression in parenthesis is regular expression, raised to star is a regular expression. A concatenated with B is a regular expression, AB concatenated with B is a regular expression. A, B, B, A is a regular expression. Epsilon already we have stated is a regular expression. Regular expression. Union regular expression is also regular. Define L, a semantic interpretation function for regular expressions. First one, L of null is equals to null. That is the language that contains no strings. L of epsilon is equals to epsilon. That is the language that contains just the empty string. L of C where C belongs to summation is equals to C. That is the language that contains the single one character string C. L of 
alpha beta is equals to L of alpha dot L of beta. That is concatenation of two regular languages is a regular language. L of alpha union beta is equals to L of alpha union L of beta. Union of two regular languages is also regular. L of alpha plus is equals to L of alpha concatenated with alpha star which is equal to L of alpha concatenated with L of alpha whole star. If L of alpha is equal to null then L of alpha plus is also equal to null. Else L of alpha plus is language formed by concatenating together one or more strings drawn from L of alpha. L of alpha in parenthesis is equals to L of alpha. That is parenthesis has no effect on meaning except to group the constituents in an expression. So let us start writing some of the basic regular expressions. First, if the language contains a string as epsilon, then the regular expression for this particular language is equals to epsilon. If the language has one single character as a string that is A, then the regular expression is equal to A. If the language has an optional A, that is possible strings in this language are either A occurs or it does not. If it does not is represented by epsilon. This or that, then the regular expression obtained is epsilon or A wherein R is represented by union. Epsilon union A is the regular expression for this particular language. The possible strings in the language are A A that is two consecutive A's and that is the only string in the particular language. Then the regular expression is a, A. If the language contains 1A, 2A, possible strings in this language are either 1A or 2As. Then as we have written here, the regular expression is 1A union 2A. So this is the regular expression written for this particular language. If summation is A and the language contains all strings with even number of A's, possible strings in this language are epsilon, 2A's, 4A's, 6A's and so on. The regular expression for this particular language is the first string in this language is epsilon. So epsilon is represented as regular expression raised to star. So zero occurrence represents the first string. So next string is two A's. So two A's if star is equals to one then two A's is the next string obtained. If it is equals to 2, then 2 occurrence of this regular expression is A, 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 A. A raised to 4, 3 times A raised to 6 and so on. So, this is the regular expression obtained for even number of A's. Next, if odd number of A's, possible strings in this language are 1A, 3A's, 5A's, 7A's and so on. So, the possible, what will be the possible string 
or a regular expression for this particular language so first is a first string in this language is a single a so a is a regular expression next from the first string to the second string there is a difference of two a's again from second to third there is a difference of two a's which is nothing but even number of a's so the regular expression for even number of a's is a concatenated with a a whole star so this is the regular expression obtained for odd number of a's zero occurrence of this regular expression obtains single a one occurrence of this regular a a a 3s two occurrence of a a is 4 plus 1 5 as and so on next if the summation is having a b and possible strings in this language are a or b only two possibilities then what is the regular expression for this particular language the regular expression obtained is a or b represented as a union b a language over summation ab with all the strings of even length possible strings in this language are epsilon 2 as or ab or ba or bb length is equals to 2 next length is equals to 4 any combinations of as and bs with length 4 ab ba a a b b and so on then length 6 any combinations of as and bs of length string so these are some of the possible strings in this particular language then the regular expression so how to write the regular expression for this particular language string length must be 0 2 4 6 8 and so on so how to write the regular expression for this particular language so what is the first string in this language first string is epsilon so i'll take everything in the bracket star first string is obtained next is string length 2 and the string length 2 it can be a or b but length must be so how to represent the string of length 2 a union b this is string length 1 either a or b concatenated with one more a union b so a or b string length is 1 a or b string length is 1 so 1 concatenated 1 so we have string length 2 so if star is equals to 1 then string length is 2 if it is equals to 2 string length is 4 and so on this regular expression can also be written as if we go on substituting this values from the parentheses we obtain is equals to a a or a b or b a or b b whole star so this expression can also be written as a a union a b union b a union b b whole star both the regular expressions are equivalent to each other next if the same is asked for where the language contains all possible strings of 
odd length then the possible strings in this language are string of length 1 3 5 and so on so how to write the regular expression for this language and we had written before so the first string is of length 1 so how to write the first string of length 1 we already know it is a or b and next time what is the difference in between the first string and the second string first string length 1 and string length 3 difference is of 2 length is equals to 2 that is string length is even or you can say adding string length 1 to the length is equals to even then the possible string obtained will be a union b a union b whole star this can also be written as a union b concatenated with a a a b b a b b whole star so these are the two regular expressions equivalent to each other which represents the language having all, all possible strings of length is equals to odd. Let us see the next language having the possible strings of A's and B's starting with AAB. Possible strings in this language are starts with AAB and after that it can have any combinations of A's and B's. So the regular expression obtained for this particular language is start with AAB after that any combinations of A's and B's represented as union B whole star. So this is the regular expression obtained for this language. Next. If the language has substring AAB, some possible strings in this language are AAB. Before and after, you can have any combinations of A's and B's. Then the regular expression obtained is I have AAB. Before any combinations of A's and B's, after that also I can have any combinations of is and b's so this is the regular expression obtained for having substring a a b next if the w ends with a a b possible strings in this language are ends with a a b before you can have any combinations of a's and b's it is similar to this language starts with here it starts with here it must end with then the possible regular expression for this particular language is ends with a a b before that you can have any combinations of a's and b's so this is the regular expression obtained for ending with a a b language over summation 0 1 where the strings have both 0 0 and 1 1 as substrings possible strings in this language are 0 0 1 1 or 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 followed by any combinations of zeros and ones 1 1 followed by any combination of 0 0 followed by 0 0 compulsory two zeros and two ones consecutive must be there in each of the strings then the regular expression for this particular language is
two zeros two ones before and after i may have any combinations of zeros and ones this is if i have zero zero first and then one one what if i have one one first and zero zero then we have to write union 1100 before and after i can have any combinations of zeros and ones so this is the regular expression of 10 having both 00 and 11 as the substring this if 00 first and then 11 or this part of the regular expression where first we have 11 then followed by 00 0. next if the language contains at least two zeros at least two zeros means if you can see here there is no condition of number of ones and the condition on number of zeros is it must be minimum 2 it can be more than 2 also then the possible strings in this language are two zeros two zeros and more than two zeros then the regular expression for this language is a zero before this zero i can have a zero or one combination after this zero i can have again any number of zeros and ones this is the second compulsory zero again after that i can have any number of zeros and ones so you have two zeros minimum compulsory at least two zeros and more than two zeros you can have anywhere so before this zero and after this zero for the zero again before this zero and after this zero you can have any number of zeros and ones as there is no restriction on any number of ones in this language summation is 0 1 and the string contains exactly two zeros possible strings in this language are all the strings must have exactly two zeros any number of ones and it's not necessary that the two zeros are consecutive to each other so what is the possible regular expression for this particular language the language states it has two zeros and it's not necessary that both must be consecutive and there is no restriction on number of ones so before this zero i may have any number of ones in between these two zeros i can have any number of ones after these two zeros i can have any number of ones so this is the regular expression obtained for all the strings containing exactly two zeros let us take up the next language the next language contains strings with at least two consecutive zeros so pre in this previous language it was not necessary that the two zeros must be consecutive whereas here at least means there must be minimum two zeros and they must be consecutive to each other possible strings in this language are 0 0 you can see here you have two zeros and after this two zeros i can have any combinations of zeros and ones before also i can have any combinations of zeros and ones then the regular expression for this particular language how to write two consecutive zeros so first zero and second zero both together as we need them consecutive then before i may have any number of 
zeros and ones so that is represented as 0 union 1 whole star after that i can have any number of zeros and ones so again it is represented as 0 or 1 whole star so this is a regular expression obtained for this particular language language having substring 0 0 1 possible strings in this language are 0 0 1 before and after I can have any combinations of zeros and ones the regular expression is similar to a a b only alphabets are different so the regular of expression obtained is having a substring 0 0 1 before I can have 0 or 1 whole star after I can have 0 or 1 whole star next language is the reverse of the previous language that is does not have the substring 0 0 1 in it possible strings are if you see here in all the strings all the strings are accepted except 0 0 1 so the regular expression obtained for this language is I can start with a 1 or if I start with a 0 it must not have a 0 next to it then compulsory I must have a 1 any combinations followed by any number of zeros so this is the regular expression obtained for this particular language I can start with a 1 or if I start with a 0 then it must not be followed by a 0 so we have written a 1 any occurrence of these two combinations followed by 0 star is accepted by this particular language let us see the next language containing n number of a's and m number of b's where n is greater than or equal to 4 and m is less than or equal to 3 that is number of a's is greater than or equal to 4 minimum 4 number of a's or more whereas number of b's is less than or equal to 3 0 occurrence of b 1 occurrence of b 2 occurrences of b 3 occurrences of b's are accepted but not more than 3 b's then how to write the regular expression for this particular language the language states minimum 4 a's how to write minimum 4 a's 1 2 3 4 minimum 4 a's followed by any number of a's any number of a's is represented by a star so this represents n number of a's where a's are greater than or equal to 4 this is equal to 4 and this is greater than or equal to 4 then followed by b's so the number of b's is zero occurrence of b or one occurrence of b or two occurrences of b or three occurrences of b not more than three b's so this part of the regular expression will represent m less than or equal to 3 0 1 2 3 occurrences of this so this is the regular expression obtained for this language let us see one more language over summation 0 1 
where first and last symbol of the strings are seen. Possible strings in this language are 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, where first symbol and last symbol are the same, first symbol and last symbol are the same and so on. So, how to write the regular expression for this particular language? So, the first string is 0 or second string is 1. So, or, okay, now we have two symbols here. Summation, as summation is 0, 1, starts with 0 and ends with 0 or starts with 1 and ends with 1. So, how to write the regular expression for this particular language? Starts with 0, ends with 0. In between, I can have 0 or 1 whole star or starts with 1, ends with 1. In between, I can have 0 or 1 whole star. So, this is the regular expression obtained for first and last symbol being the same. First and last symbol if it is 1, first and last symbol if it is 0 and 0 or 1 if it is a single symbol.